Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the second part of course. I have discussed the first part. Let's uh, now we will discuss the second part of the course. So in the second part, I have written something over here. So guys, uh, I would like to inform you that some people might think why I have written past before of teaching. So the idea behind this is that first it would be short videos because by writing I will consume some time so it would be easy to tease me. That is why and it would be well manner as well. So if I have written something earlier speaking to you that means it would be written in a systematic way. That was also kept in mind while I write this. So everything is matlab, precise, it would be simple and we are exactly doing what? Revision classes. I am not going deep and deep and deep because it will take, otherwise Coral will take one hour class or one and two hour class. It will take time like this. So we will try to confine ourselves. Okay, let's first discuss. Now I have written something over here. Apart from that, some extra knowledge will be given first. Great Barrier Reef. What is Great Barrier Reef? The largest reef, corals type I have or I talked in the last class. I told you that what is the type of corals. Now the Great Barrier Reef is the world largest coral reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the world largest barrier reef. This is located here, the red mark. This is the Great Barrier Reef. Australia, in, it is look, located in the Queensland, this is Queensland, Australia, some of the uh, provinces of Australia. This is Queensland, this is New South Wales, New South Wales, this is Victoria, this is Victoria, this is South Australia, this is West Australia, this is North Australia. Okay, these are the provinces of Australia. I repeat again, this is Queensland, New South Wales. Victoria, South Australia, North Australia, West Australia. So they might ask you, okay, which province of Australia coming the, that is Great Barrier Reef. This is the Queensland. Recently, the fire is already going on in Australia. Which province? That is the New South Wales. New South Wales and some part of the Queensland. Victoria might, it might go to the Victoria. So this is the, this eastern part of Australia, the fire is going on the eastern part. Okay. Now mapping, I am not doing here mapping because some mountain range here also like the great dividing range here, the run like this great dividing range runs like this great dividing range, the largest mountain range and the longest of Australia. So I am not doing mapping. Okay. So uh, great barrier reef is located in this part, the Queensland province of Australia. So what is this? This is barrier type of reef. This is the water. Now Australia, this is away from the coast. Barrier types of reefs always away from the coast. So this is the Great Barrier Reef. For this is UNESCO heritage site. Length almost 2000 km. Almost 2000. It is 1900 something. So that is why I have written on an average 2000 km. So that it will be easy to remember. Okay. World largest barrier reef. This has been conserved. So conservation also going on. Now, Kiribati, second point. This is over. Okay. Now, second point, Kiribati. Kiribati, world largest atoll coral. Atoll corals mean what? Atoll corals means circular. Circular. Corals are circular. This is atoll. Barrier means what? It would be away from the land or away from the coast. Okay. Now this is at all circular. It would be land in between. It would be land and the coral would be surrounding. It would be known as the, so this is the coral. Okay. This is circular. So this at all circular type also known as the at all type. The, this means Kiribati world largest at all corals. They might ask you Kiribati and Kiribati is located in this part of Australia. This is not coming under the Australia. Kiribati is a Micronesia country. Western Pacific, South Western Pacific and uh, Ocean. It found in the South Western part of the Pacific Ocean. Now comes to Maldives. They might ask you, Maldives having which type of corals? This is also a tall type of corals, this type of. Now, 
Next question here is, so these are the factual data. Why western part of the western part or side of the continent does not found corals? Like suppose I would say Australia. Let's take the example of Australia. This part of Australia, the east, so this is northern and north, uh, that is what eastern part of Australia is having coral, but the western part of Australia does not have any corals. Okay, so like this Africa, the western side of Africa continent, Africa continent does not have corals. Okay, so why western part? The question is why western part or side of the continent does not found corals? So what are the reason? So reason is that. So why the reason is that I would uh, suppose I will take Australian example of Australia, otherwise Africa. Suppose this one is imagine K, it would be Africa. Okay. Now why this part? This is Madagascar. This region having corals. Okay, corals. But this part of Australia, western part does not have any corals. Why not corals? Because so I will talk about this point okay why western part of the continent doesn't have point one is this is cold current here is fish current found Benguela cold current so here is western Australia cold current that is why okay cold current now I have already told you that water temperature is the one of the determinant fact for the development of corals hence as the water is cold, so that would not help for the growth of corals. Okay, exactly. Next comes to the what it would be. So this is the most important fact. Now it would be why cold? Cold current means cold water. Next is of sore wind. Of sore wind, this is also the reason for the cold water okay because offshore wind means the wind which is going away from the coast as the going wind which is coming to the coast it would be onshore okay this would be onshore the wind which is going away that would be offshore if this region would be offshore wind okay if it is offshore the water the top layer of the water would be displaced away and from the middle layer water will comes to the surface to replace so that there would be cold water this is another cause okay so these are the some causes for the western side of the continent does not have corals next questions what is the white and black band diseases these are the coral diseases these are the disease which causes to the corals Corals also experience disease or disease causes to the coral that is white band and black band. Okay, what is white black band? So it is white band and black band diseases. So they might ask you the white band and black band diseases causes to which of the following. Now, why Elino causes coral bleach? Now, coral bleach means what? That is the death. Bleaching means what? Death of corals. Now always you have to remember bleach means if I bleach something, bleaching powder when I add somewhere, it will make that region white. So white color. Okay. So coral bleaching, that means if a coral is bleached away, it will look like white color. So white color, which color? It would be white color. Now why white color? Because corals are what? Limestone. They are what? Limestone. So because limestone is white always, so hence from the limestone, when algae and polyps leave the colony and the region would be look like white. When the coral region or the region where corals earlier existed, if it is looking like white color, that means this is the symptoms that that region is bleached away or the coral death has occurred or the corals or the polyps or algae, they have left the places. Either they have migrated, hence the region is looking white or there is death of their colony. Okay, exactly. So that is why. And they will look white color. Now, 
Now why Ellie know? Now my question was why Ellie know? Because Ellie know raises the temperature. When Elino during the Elino years, the Indian Ocean temperature of the world in the ocean temperature one degree raise, or it is temperature of ocean rise by one degree that causes or two degree it might be two degree that will cause or that will create tension because you have already learned that corals can sustain up to twenty eight or twenty nine degree temperature of the water surface water. Okay, if thirty temperature increases, so it would not be tolerated, and there would be, that would be amount to the death of the coral. So that is why Elino is important because it raises the temperature of water. Now, how that would be not discussed here because that is quite a lengthy process. Then I have to total discuss the Elino. Then I have to come to the impact. So it would be not possible. Now, importance of corals. Now we will discuss the importance of corals. Now I will write here, okay? Importance of corals. First is protecting the or protection to coast. It will suppose this is India. A barrier reef is there. So the waves which is coming, it will be first strike the reef. Then it will come to the coast so that the intensity of the wave would be reduced. Okay? So like this. protection of the coast now second corals are called corals are called rain forest of the ocean you have to remember this word corals are called rain forest of the ocean why rain forest because of high diversity corals are high diversity ocean maximum diversity found in corals that is why like the rainforest or terrestrial ecosystem this is also aquatic ecosystem like the terrestrial rainforest ecosystem so this is the rainforest of the ocean okay what name next carbon co2 sequestration or absorb through the photosynthesis it does photosynthesis corals okay now next it next point it would be what breeding zone for the fishes breeding zone for fishes okay next supply of food and fodder seven medicine so medicine can be made okay like this so there are lots of importance okay these are the some importance of the corals now we will discuss the artificial corals what is artificial corals like government of india indian government maldives government Ma uh, mauritius government seychelles government they have taken number of initiative to protect the corals okay artificial corals like what suppose this is a ocean okay now this is the ocean some region of the ocean if the coral is bleached away earlier there was a coral and that is bleached away so we have to do certain things okay suppose this is water body or a ocean there was coral which is now bleached away i have to or we have to do certain step or we have to take a certain step so that the corals again they will attract to that particular region how we will we will station artificially blocks 
these are the artificial blocks made of certain material that will help or that will attract the corals to come and sit here corals will comes they will attract to this region and sit here and again they will make their colony that means this block are stationed they are put below the floor so that it will act as a what platform it will act as a platform for the what coral so that platform because coral need what platform and i talked about in the last class okay the platform would be 70 meter depth of the water so we will make the platform to attract the corals they will come they will sit again they will grow their colony so this is the artificial corals so this is all about the second part like it share it and comment it okay now we will discuss the new topic thank you all for watching this